My name is Jasmine and I use she, her pronouns. My name is Nick Hampshire and I run a YouTube channel called Being a Romantic While Not Asexual. My name is Sam, better known as Samantha Amy across my platform. This is Positively Positive. My pronouns are they, them, theirs, or he, him, his. My name is Celeste and my pronouns are they, them. My name is Ozem Chobam. You can call me Sugar Mel. A romantic is the one I, you know, identify as most strongly. Um, I'm allosexual as well, uh, straight. So I'm still sexually attracted to women, um, just not romantically attracted to anybody. Recently, I have started to question my label and I'm unsure where I sit on the aromantic spectrum. So I currently identify as arospec. Aromantic and asexual. A romantic and asexual and queer. Queer, transgender, non binary, asexual, aromantic, gray asexual, gray aromantic. Aromantic, asexual, genderqueer, and trans. Of kind and understanding. Loving, expansive. A blob. I don't feel any different than other people, I just experience love in my own way. It doesn't feel like anything until someone like brings it to my attention. Seeing that I have nothing to compare it to, it just feels normal to me. <laughs> it feels normal. Very isolating. Isolating because there's, I feel like there's like a majority of my friends and people around me in the world don't, are not aware about asexuality, as well as aromantic identities. Sometimes it makes me feel a bit alien, but a lot of the time it makes me feel a sense of community. Sometimes it's hard because I want to experience romantic relationships, but in general I have a normal life like everybody else. Confusing sometimes, <laughs> um, but still full and fulfilling as it could be. To me, very carefree, very independent, I guess would be a good way to describe it. Um, yeah, man, and you know, having the, your priority being on yourself and your friends and family for love is really, I think, um, a big part of it. Being full of love. Free. I can just be unapologetically myself and I know who I am and that makes me happy. Pride is the joy of being yourself and all shapes of love coming together. Pride means just celebrating each other and ourselves. It's a bit of a curious topic for me now because, you know, I'm allosexual straight, cis man, so uh, traditionally I've always just kind of supported others through pride. Not just accepting, but embracing the truth of who you are. Sometimes pride is really hard because of like the... Um erasure of asexual people and aromantic people as well as the erasure of demisexual people uh and the erasure of like transgender issues so i'm not really prideful it makes me feel empowered and happy the city i currently live in doesn't celebrate pride but if i had the opportunity i would participate in pride parades by um, educating people as best I can on um, aromantic identities and issues and also just by, you know, showing my love and my appreciation for everyone else in the queer community. I usually just celebrate it by celebrating others. I love marching in the parade and then going to the festival. But I went to Trans Pride once, it was fun, like being around like my community. But it's also really hard because um, there's a lot of police presence and police has a long history of um, <laughs> of terrorizing the community. So that's why I don't really be at trans pride. By living authentically and openly. The fact that I experience love in my own way is proof that society's standards are rubbish and that's what gives me pride. Seeing people in the aromantic community um, standing up for each other and for themselves and ourselves. I would say that 
My integrity and love for people is something that I'm really proud of. I feel pride when an Arrow or Ace character is represented in the media. That I can appreciate love in different forms and that I recognize that not only romantic love matters. Since I'm very open about my identity, um, I know that the people in my life are genuine about their connections with me and love and appreciate me for who I am and not for what they expect from me or they want to get from me. It's given me a lot of time and effort and energy to spend on myself and relationships that I'm still in, my friendships and my family. Um, whereas a lot of other people that are constantly trying to make romantic relationships work um, often have a lot of false starts and change depending on the types of relationships and who they're with. Living outside the amatonormative framework has made me more conscious and intentional about the love that I feel and express in all the different kinds of relationships in my life. People wanting, for, wanting me for my brain instead of chasing me after my body. It's like, yeah, that's so beautiful. The happiness in my own skin and without needing a partner is what makes me happy. Being Arrow is who I am, and I'm proud of who I am. No one can tell you whom you should love, how you should love, or what love should be like. As people who don't feel romantic attraction, we can be just as fulfilled in platonic relationships as anyone else can in a romantic relationship. Just making people aware how inundated our society is and how focused we are on romantic love um, would be one thing, and that a romantic people exist without that. You don't need another person. If you find another person and you click and you love them, great. But if you don't, it's not the end of the world and it's not what makes you you.